Hello YouTube land, this is Brent Son coming to you from Lexington, Kentucky, the Bluegrass State. Well, before we get started, I'd like to say if anyone out there has a uh, encounter with Bigfoot, Dogman, any kind of uh, awesome supernatural encounter, anything mysterious that you think would make a good uh, candidate for the show, just contact me at brentonson at gmail.com. It's all lowercase letters, Brenton Sawin at gmail.com. And if anyone out there wants to contribute to help with this show, it's greatly appreciated. And uh, I want to thank you all that who have made contributions. And there's actually one lady that sent me a letter in the mail. I'm going to pull this letter out right here because she uh, sent it in the mail to me. She asked. She said she didn't have a PayPal, so she sent a, you know, a little contribution, and I, I thought, well, you know, that it's awful nice to go through all that. She's from California, West Lake Valley, California, and her name on the letter is really hard to read, but uh, Magdalena. Um, thank you very much, and uh, I appreciate you said thank you for your great ministry. I appreciate uh, your your uh, godly wisdom on these creatures uh, because it's uh, uh, it's true. Uh, keep going, and uh, you know said a few more things, but uh, I just want to say thank you because I, I thought that was really nice for you to go out of your way to do do all that and uh and uh to sundry murph murphy um and uh there's so many others uh over the last six months who has made contributions uh i don't get really that many per month but um over like six months or so you know there's 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 a few so um you know, if I didn't mention your name, please forgive me, and and I uh, will get to you at, at another point or something. And uh, I should probably go back and uh, at least just say the first names and say thank you to some of you. Uh, I really appreciate it, and uh, and believe me, uh, when I I get an email every time someone goes to PayPal me and uh, makes a contribution. Um, I get an email and I go straight to that, and I. I, uh, you know, I, I, I thank God for you, and then I, I say something as a prayer for every single one of you. I've never, ever deleted an email without doing that. So, just wanted you to know that that's how much I appreciate it, and uh, so thank you. And anyway, I, I really uh, love bringing these stories to you and being able to share my opinion and my, uh, um, you know, like this lady says, you're you're, uh, you're you're basically, she calls it a ministry, and and uh, and I, I I I do it from a biblical worldview, and I don't hide that. It's in in the opening of the show, typically, if I put the regular intro on there, um, and so it's not hidden from people. They can go to the channel, read the about section, and you know that that's what I do. So I don't try to sneak it on nobody. But uh, th that's important to me, and and uh, you know the Lord is is uh, the most important thing in in, in in anything that I do. So that's that's just how I do it. But anyway, um, we have a guest today, um, and it's going to be kind of a fun little uh, show with uh, Dylan Bangs, and he's had his encounters in Colorado. Um, he's a former Marine, so I want to say also to him, thank you for your service to this country to help uh, keep our country free. Your contribution is appreciated from uh, so many Americans. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy listening to Dylan Bangs. I live in Colorado. Right. Uh, so, um... The the what happened with me the first time was me and my buddy I had just joined in the Marine Corps we wanted to go up 
you know, up a, a high elevation, you know, training type of thing. And um, when we got to the top, we saw a bear that actually charged me, and I shot into the ground right in front of it. I wasn't trying to kill it. And um, we, I was like, all right, let's get out of here, you know. Like, we, we, we um, I've been on Sasquatch Chronicles, too, so... Uh, if you right. want to hear the whole just of that, look up one uh, episode one seventy seven. Um, but and so we got to the top. I heard some like like some weird, really weird noises. You know, where like I got that feeling. Okay, I'm not supposed to be here. You know what I mean? Like uh, I just shot off this bear. Um, kind of get a little freaked out. You know what I mean? And um, all of a sudden I. Uh, uh, we were like, all right, let's get out of here. It's kind of steep embankment. I don't know if you've been to Colorado or not, but the, the terrain out here in the mountains is, it's some pretty rough stuff, you know? It's not like it is on the East Coast. Hello? Yeah, I muted my mic, so I wasn't uh, stomping on you. But no, I, I haven't been oh. to Colorado. Um, one of the few states I haven't been to. Well, hey man, if you ever want to come out here, I'll, I'll we can go on some expeditions if you would like. Yeah, the dude I was camping with lived in Colorado for uh, several years and uh, built um, like uh, cedar decks and stuff like that. So and, and and did some trout fishing. So it made me want to go up there. And then I've also, you know, I've been checking out some of the Bigfoot stuff from Colorado. So very interesting uh, place for sure. Uh, yeah, well, and I'll tell you right now. So anyway, so I, we, uh, it's really steep embankment. I'm uh, helping my friend down uh, with his backpack uh, to uh, to uh, you know kind of stable him as he takes the next step down, um, going headed down back towards the mountain, and that's when um, I heard uh, the, the most god awful scream. It sounded like a woman. But like with more of a manly type of, like a you know what I mean, like really dark. But it was like a screech, like a woman, like a devil possessed woman. It, it scared the crap out of me. And then a, a boulder, literally the size about a little bit bigger than the football, we hear it comes right by my friend's head, and it, it it landed literally not very far from him at all. And we both looked at each other like, damn, that that almost fucking killed you, you know what I mean? Like, we kind of got scared. Excuse my language, you know, but... And so we were like, damn, all right, let's get the, get the hell out of here. I I took out my 1911, and um, from where I, I, I heard the, the, the yell come from, and I was so scared, I just... I busted the whole clip, you know, in, in that general direction, and... um but and then we turned around and we started running you know i sprained my ankle from running so bad you know <laughs> trying to get off that mountain and i turned back and i saw the face and the face i saw man and it, have you have you heard of uh them and us who uh it's a, it's a thing called uh uh, uh sh- like uh what are, what are the words it's a doc, not a documentary, but it's like. Oh yeah, yeah. A book about yeah, it's a Neanderthal it. looking. Uh, yeah, Neander- yeah, yeah, right, yeah. And I, I turned back and I saw a face looking over the tree, staring at us, and it, it looked almost with slight differences, the same exact thing that they showed us. You know, those recreation drawings of the Neanderthals and how they were, you know wrong on what they really look like right and yeah. uh and um the the face i saw bro it, it like put the fear of god in my heart and i just turned around and we basically like could you tell how tall ourselves. could you tell like how tall it was from where you were probably around nine to nine and a half feet maybe even ten yeah because when, when you were asking me about mine you know, when I saw it, um, I was looking up the hill, so it was kind of over the top of the hill a little bit, and, uh, at the time, I couldn't really tell how tall it was, 
but it looked tall and it looked kind of uh, lanky, and so right. it was really right. hard for me to tell how tall it was because it, yeah, part of its body, it was, you know, from the waist up, was kind of over the hill. But it still looked yeah. tall because it wasn't that far, you know. What I mean, it's like I live. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. big, you know. Yeah. Well, this thing, I mean, it had to be uh, uh, around ten feet tall. Honestly, from from the trios looking over, it had to have been. And the, that that's it was so close to what the recreation of those Neanderthals, and it freaking put the fear of God in my heart. And I we we. Literally messed ourselves up running down that mountain. You know what I mean? And, uh, basically that, that, that was that encounter. And then I brought my mom out. Uh, you know what Pike's Peak is? Uh, Pike's Peak? Yeah. I've heard of it, yeah. Yeah, well, we were not that far from there. And, um, I brought my mom out there with me because, you know, we were just walking around, looking around. And uh, I I had ran in front of her, and I looked down the hill, and there was a, a, probably around a six-foot to seven-foot Sasquatch. Didn't see, the, didn't see his face because his back was turned to me, walking down the slope. And I freaked out, like literally like a little girl screamed and turned around and just sprinted back past my mom and I was like oh my god my mom's right there I gotta go back and then I was like you know what screw this I gotta make sure she sees it so she know, knows I'm not lying and um she's also on Sasquatch Chronicles too I forgot the episode number but um just to tell Wes about exactly what happened and um so what, by the time she got back there he was at the bottom of the hill and I was like man what really oh, fuck like in in I think I missed it, you know what I mean? And then I was like, Mom, who, what is that? Because I kind of saw a little bit of something peeking around a tree on us, but, like, it, it looked, you could tell it was kneeling down. And I pulled out my pistol and aimed it up in the air because I didn't want to make it feel threatened. I wanted it to know, like, hey, if you come at me, I'm going to do something about it, you know? And it stood up, and then my mom freaked out because she had never seen something like that and you know she didn't even she was skeptical about big fur you know so uh we she turned around and started screaming and i was like that's a bad idea i guess you know so i just pulled out my pistol cocked it back and we i did not you know keep my eyes off of we started back up from the hill the whole way back to the car and um that you know, that we got in the car and the van and just left because <laughs> my mom was like, I, I do not want to be here anymore at all, you know? So <laughs> it, it was pretty, um, it was pretty terrifying to say the least, you know? So, so you got to see his face? Uh, yeah, I, I got to see the face the first, the first time, the first encounter I, I, uh, tell you about, but he was down the hill a little bit, but he stood up. When he stood up, it like I was like, "Oh my God, that thing is massive!" I I don't know how tall this this one was, but it looked big, and um, we both just got the hell out of dodge, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, how tall how tall did you think it was? Uh, it, it was probably a good eight feet. Okay. I'm yeah. And uh, and, and I didn't you get, know, I try, I didn't I try to probably uh, about. A hundred yards away from me, so I can't really see much face detail, you know. But right, it, yeah, it it was pretty damn crazy, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know the one I saw. Um, it wasn't. I don't know if it was a hundred yards away, but it was back in some such thick stuff. It was dark back in there, you know what I mean? So it made it look dark it was kind of um it, it you know i i bet i was thinking well if you were to be up close you, you it might be brown but it looked black because it was in the canopy and the thick i mean it was so thick back in there that when i went up there i was going to try to collect some 
worms and stuff like that at one point uh it was just too thick I, you know i didn't want to hack my way through and all that kind of stuff when it was just easier place oh, yeah. to go. Definitely. So, yeah so so it made it it made it you know how when you have some areas of the woods that are just so thick when something's back there you can't see detail on it because it's shat it's in kind of in the dark you know yeah. even though sun's exactly. shining <laughs> yeah so exactly and, um, I, I would love to come on your show show man uh, you are on oh we're talking right now we're on we're talking on your show uh, yeah, you're, you're, we're recording. Uh, you know, I, I'll edit, but, you know, <laughs> I'm, rec I'm recording okay, this, yeah. you know, so I'll cut that part out. You're on the show. <laughs> you know. Okay, okay. So this is a uh, live recording right now. Yeah, just a recording, so we're not live. Um, okay, and and you're going to, uh, like, post this to your website? Or yeah, what? yeah, you're going to be on Mystery Research. Oh, that, that's that's amazing because you know I just I I want people to understand what the hell is out there, you know. Oh, I know, man, it's crazy, dude. I, shoot, man, dude. If people it, people just don't they they think of it as like some bullshit, like crazy crackpots, you know. Yeah, did you hear, <laughs> did you hear the last two um um episodes I uploaded on the lost tapes? Um, I I I, I didn't. Oh, oh the lost tapes? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, actually, um, Wes is on. Uh, it's on one of his uh, broadcasts. But if you can send a link to his number, I would like to watch those as well. What do you mean it's on his broadcast? Uh, uh, uh Fastbrook's Chronicles. He um, he uh, put something uh, on one of his blog things. You know. Mm-hmm. And uh. Uh, it, it, I think it was that show. Okay, yeah, that's awesome, man. Wes is awesome. I, I, I'm glad he shares some of my stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah it, I mean it, they're uh, really good stories, man. It, this, this, it's a family that's being almost besieged by these things because of. And I had to hide a lot of stuff. I had to hide a lot of the identities uh, through. I couldn't. Oh, I, I, I had to I, cut I, out. I, of, I can't yeah. see it. Yeah, I had to hide because they're well-known people from the area that they're from, you know. And yeah, so you know, I cut yeah. out all the names he said. You know, every time he mentioned his his wife's name or his his wife and he both were on the first part one, and then part two it was just him. But man, they, these bigfoots were coming into a, after they had some forest fires and stuff. It ran them in uh, basically into. Um, thousands of acres he owns. He has a business there, like a rock pit and stuff. And um, and uh, I don't really say like where it's at. I just say like northwest. You know, what I mean, kind of giving you an idea of the direction. Um, that, that's about all I can do. But anyway, um, they were killing his dogs. They were taking um, homeless people. Um. They were uh, attacking people that were coming up there and camping in. Uh, there was like one dentist that came up there and camped in a big Winnebago, pulling a big trailer with, uh, you know, like the uh, the uh, four wheelers and you know all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, huge setup. You know, and and uh, these people ended up getting um, attacked by these Bigfoot, and they were throwing big boulders at their Winnebago, and uh, and growling and yell, you know, doing those yells, and it hit them so hard with infrasound. His do uh, the the doctor's uh, kid had to go to the hospital and was in the hospital for quite a few days um, from getting hit with infrasound. <laughs> Man, it was like. Dude, it's not good, man. And uh, and they even had a deer um that came out of the woods, and this his son went up there and grabbed the deer by the antlers and sitting there petting it for two hours, calling all everybody in the family, come down here and check his deer out. You know, they all come down there, the grandkids and all, man, petting the deer, a big buck, dude. And uh, and, and it was so disoriented from getting hit with infrasound and uh, being chased by these boogers, man that 
you know, a couple hours later, it starts snapping out of it, and they're like, okay, I think this deer's coming too, you know, we're going to leave it alone. And it, the deer ran off into the woods, you know. And um, a bunch of oh, stories... A bunch of stories like that. It was stealing uh, feed. It, he had a big ice cream t- truck he, st- he stored feed in. Um, he stored um, dog food in for his uh, prize dogs. I mean, he had these uh, very awesome dogs that even like mountain lions and stuff like that. If he had two or three of these dogs he cut loose on a mountain lion, dude, they would go stretch it out and kill it. And uh, these Bigfoots were coming there and killing his prized dogs, dude. And um, stealing yeah, the dog that's, food, that's stealing the feed. Yeah, that's pretty and messed up. pretty messed up. The worst part was he was in the camper sleeping, and one of these Bigfoot creatures reached in through the window of the camper and held him down on the bed as he was sleeping. It held and him it down on the bed? Held him down, dude. Put Reese's arm in through the window. Because he would have the window open where he could spit his tobacco. He, he chewed tobacco and his wife hated it. Uh, but he would, like, leave the window open. You know, you know spit out the window, you know, kind of thing. And um, he, this Bigfoot reached in through the window and held him down. So hard it broke three of his ribs. And then it, it broke. The, he was pushing up with his, uh, trying to do a push-up. Because he was laying on his stomach sleeping. And he was trying to he was trying to push himself up, and he tore lint, uh, the tendons in his elbows, both elbows, broke three of his Jeez. ribs. Yeah, and then it, it broke the bed, and that's what saved him because the bed broke, and then he fell off into the floor unconscious. And um, if it wasn't for that, he might have died. And um, yeah, I mean, he seen that's the female. He's, yeah, he seen the female, dude. Uh, and he's seen the male, and he's seen a couple others. Uh, but he said the alpha male was so huge, um, him and his wife was sleeping in that camper one night because he was spending, he spent like three years out there sleeping in that camper because they had tweakers, he called them, basically drug addicts that were coming down there into his quarry and stealing copper. And it was, you know, every time they hit the place, it would cost him like seven grand, you know. So he he was just standing there, down there trying to catch him, and uh, and it started happening with this Bigfoot stuff, and um, basically he had his wife down there one night, and she was kind of intrigued by it because every once in a while he'd say they're here, you know, he'd call her and say he'd be under like three layers of covers, you know, it's like they're here, you know, the Bigfoots are here, and she would be like kind of like. Uh, amazed by it you know so she came down there and stayed with him one night and um you know he was being with his wife because he you know being down there for three years every night you know it was like uh you know he was kind of missing his wife so um basically he thought because maybe they were kind of getting a brown chicken brown cow on you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what I'm saying? brown chicken brown cow <laughs> Uh, he thought maybe they smelled that or something. He said, this thing walked up beside the camper. And he said, look, he said, I, I, was, uh, I knew when I was going to contact you, you uh, that I needed to let you know how tall this window is off the ground um, and where they sleep in the camper. Because I think it's one of those kind of campers that has the overhead sleep thing, but it's sitting there. And on, uh, like, blocks and stuff, you know, like, uh, uh, that's what I, I guess it is. I, 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 that, that's my, my uh, vision of it. But he said off of the ground, the window where he was asleep, him and his wife were sleeping, was seven foot four off of the ground. When he, he said this thing, they were both. That's well, a big old boy, Eddie. Yeah, he said him and his wife were sleeping there. And when it walked up to the window, he said it blocked out the light. Totally. So it had to be over seven foot four uh, to block the light out. Yeah, so to block the light out, you would think his shoulders had to be at least that high. So it was at least an eight footer, you know what I mean? Eight foot, if you're sitting in your room right now, 
Look at the ceiling and imagine something's head touching the ceiling because you're probably in a room with eight foot ceilings. That's how tall this creature was. That's a huge, massive beast. Now, it walked up to this thing and he said it was sniffing at the window. And that's what made him think it was sniffing because of his life. It was like, <laughs> and then he said it would, like, <sighs> It was growling and sniffing, but like he said, it was deep, man. It was like, uh, you know, kind of deal. And then it would take a couple of whiffs, but he said it was huge sniffs, you know. Like when it sniffed, you know, it sucked the hair over on your head, you know. <laughs> he kind of think, you know, it was like, it was like he, he could tell it was huge sniffs and huge growl, kind of like groaning growl kind of thing. Like, yeah, that can be very scary. <laughs> yes, and he said it scared him so bad. And he said I had a shotgun, uh, and he had shotgun with um, uh, uh, basically big shells, twelve gauge shells that are um, made to like pierce uh, um, a motor block. You know, it, it was like a, a special kind of bullet for a shotgun that was able to yeah. you know you could shoot a motor block and pierce it uh, he said i thought about shooting through the wall but he didn't know whether he should or not and you know he didn't want to shoot at something he couldn't tell exactly you know what was there and kind of thing and and um and he really thought man he's like dude i think i can kill this thing i really believe i can shoot it and i kept talking him out of it it's like dude do not do it because as soon as you shoot this thing, there's going to be three, four, five more come out of the woods to gather its body. You'll never be able to take it with you. They won't let you take the body. These Bigfoot won't. And even if you do kill it, then the government's going to come in. And even if there wasn't one to come in, like if it was a rogue or something, um, you're not ever going to keep the body. The government or the Bigfoot is going to make sure that don't happen. Um, you're not yeah, gonna, you're I not. Yeah, you're not going to kill the alpha or, you know, one of the juveniles or something like that and then and then keep the body. Uh, the Bigfoots are going to make sure that don't happen and you're going to die because um, I believe they will kill you. I, I really believe that would happen. You'd have to kill them all. <laughs> so, and, and, and then if you did, you better take pictures real quick, put them out all over the Internet, and then uh, hopefully the... the uh, um, government's not going to come in and, and take, take it from you, you know, kind of deal. But anyway, that, that, that's, that's, that's just crazy stuff. And, uh, it sure is, brother. And I also have, we went back to Sedalia where, where me and my mom had a thing happen. Cause I wanted to go out there to just, to just see what I could find. And, and, um, I wanted to get smacked in the face by a log. From where I have no idea, but I got smacked in the face with the log pretty hard, and it sent me out of that. We we got out of dodge. You know what I mean? Yeah that that happened to Mark Zaxby one time, man, and he has it on film too, dude. He's running down with the camera, and oh, all of a sudden Ma you see the Mark, cam Mark from Florida. Yeah, yeah. You see him walking down into the darkness with the camera, and all of a sudden the camera's on the ground, and he's like. <laughs> it's like, dude. Man. I mean, that's pretty good proof, you know. I mean, he, he got whacked, and you could hear the thing going, Hurr. and it was so deep that the first time I heard that, it scared me, dude. It, it was at nighttime, and I was sitting out on the uh, back porch smoking, and uh, and I was listening to that episode, and it was like I heard that that beast, and it scared me so bad. I went in the house, and I live in town. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, dang, boy, that's scary right there. Boy, that was crazy. And uh, Mark's brave, man. I tell you, it's like, dude, you're a brave dude to be running down there up, up in it like that, man. No one what's there. But he was yelling at Melanie and cussing at her and everything, man, telling her to go. And he and she wouldn't go, and he shoved her. It's like, go now you know he was trying to get out of there once he got up and grabbed his camera and uh she wasn't going 
she didn't quite get, I guess, what was happening, but she's like, look, man, you know, this thing just hit me with a big limb, broke it over me, and not you know, me, yeah. you know, and you're like, I have, I'm trying to go, and you're like standing there, you know, he shoved her and was cussing and everything, man, he beeped it out, but I was like, you better rock and roll hey, so, out there. Hey, yeah, that, that, that's, that's some crazy stuff, man. And I'll tell you right now, I'm trying to do some expeditions out here. I have some pretty good spots. So, you know, let's keep in contact, you know what I mean? And, um, like, maybe I'll come back on the show and give you an update as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, in time, man. Uh, you know, tell, you know, if you want to, go ahead and tell who you are, um, what, what you know what you're going to be doing your your researcher so and so and um and uh so people know and they you know if you want to plug any of your sites or something like that you you can do that too uh, yeah definitely definitely and um well i would i would uh like to thank you very much for letting me come on your show well yeah thank you for doing it and uh and and sounds like that you uh you kind of know that they're out there now, man. You know you've seen them and stuff, and your mom has. So I wouldn't mind talking to your mom too. Um, hey, yeah, she she would let her do it. I was kind of uh, in a busy right now. You know what I mean? Right, right. Well, well, just go ahead and tell who you, who you are, um, and like kind of the vicinity that you'd be researching and uh we'll look for updates on it right now yeah okay well uh my name's dylan bangs uh i used to be a united states marine corps um i'm not gonna go too much into that i got a lot of combat experience you know it's a touchy subject um but uh that when I first encountered all this stuff, you know, it changed my life in a way where I, I get people, they're skeptics who are going to say, you know, okay, yeah, these people are all full of crap, you know what I mean? And um, it just it irritates, irritates me because I look at these missing four and one. I've been trying to get a hold of David Pilates to um, do some other type of, um, I want to get together with him and just go over some, go over some things, you know, about what he really knows because I'll tell you right now he knows a lot more than what people think he knows you know and he won't go out publicly and say it because he doesn't want to hurt families and you know for his terrible losses that he deals with you know it's his job but I I want to um I want to start a Colorado beef, uh, Bigfoot you know research organization but I need help with some people who are willing to go out and do this with me, you know? Yeah, well, there's, you, there's, there's people it, in your area it, that are doing it. Um, you got, like, a Colorado Bigfoot out there. Um, now, David, uh, probably the best way to probably get up with him would be... Um, I, I may I may have him on the show here soon because I'm going through someone that has worked with him. Uh, that has been on the show before, uh, Scott Carpenter. Um, so I was going to get Scott Carpenter to get a hold of him. And uh, uh, Pilates yeah, actually, yeah, give him, uh, yeah, Pilates give, actually give sent him. me a message one time, but I kind of ignored it. And um, but any, anyway, if 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 he does come on, then I'll you know maybe I can uh, you can holler back at me, and then I'll I'll uh, you know ask him if he would talk to you or something. And I. Can, and I can reach you at this number? This is a Skype number uh, for going through the system to be on the show, but you can email me, and uh, and I'll give you my, my cell number. Um, so okay, you, yeah, uh, yeah, that sounds good. And um, for all the other people who are listening to this broadcast, um, you know, I'll, I'll give my uh, email address out right now. Please get in contact with me. It's all lower cases, Dylan Bang, D Y L A N B A N G S, thirty six at gmail dot com. All right, there you go. And, 
And uh, so, if you guys want to, um, anyone who's listening, want to go out and uh, uh, do an expedition with me, I would be honored for that because I need the people to go out there because it's a pretty touchy subject. And, um, you know, I, I thank you again. Um, and it doesn't uh, hurt to have it doesn't hurt to have a marine with you when you go out either. Yeah, exactly. And um, <laughs> you know, for real, uh, man. It, yeah, exactly. And uh, um, my time's kind of running short, but um, please send me send me you, I I emailed you. Uh, email me back with uh, your contact information. You know. Yes, I will. And. Um, I, I thank you again for letting me come on this show and, you know, just express exactly what's happened because this is a real subject and I want people to know, like, uh, skeptics are going to be skeptics. But, you know, there's something out there that people don't know, and I, I don't know if it's because they, I guess seeing, seeing is believing, you know what I mean? But I just want people to be aware because these things are not cuddly friendly for it forest giants, you know, and for everyone out there who's listening, you know, be careful when you're out there. Right. And, and, and do you, you know, I, I'm, I'm the kind of person that thinks that these things are getting a little more, um, populated, uh, because I think maybe the, when, uh, uh, uh you know, the people uh, migrated to this country that, that there was a lot of disease that wiped the Native Americans down. It, uh, like when people came into South America, the disease wiped out a good portion of the uh, population in South America. I think it also had an effect on the Bigfoot population. But now... Hey, you know, you, you sure <clears throat> could. But like Wes says, you know, I'm not an expert. I yeah, and, tell you have one in your garage... You, the, the, you really never know for sure. You know, you know right. what I'm saying. Just seems like a lot more reports uh, now, and um, I, I don't. I, I think they're they're more dangerous than people think. Um, oh, because 100%. Of, I agree with you on that. 100. percent Right. But um, my 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 mom really needs to use the phone right now because she's really she has some stuff that's really important. All right. But, uh, um. Well, will you um send me uh uh through email the the link to the show that we just recorded recorded because I would like to listen to it. Yeah, I sure will, bud. No, don't worry about that. All right. Do you, do you know when you're gonna post it to uh, to uh, uh, uh YouTube? Um, probably tomorrow sometime. Uh, so right, that would be good. on yeah, just... the 18th. Awesome. Sounds good, brother. Well, uh, um, thank you for letting me come on your show again. We're, we'll, we'll keep in contact. I want to go down to Kentucky, you know, and uh, maybe go do an expedition out there. Yeah, either LBL or um, uh, Daniel Boone, man. It'd be great. Oh, yeah, no. LBL. I know Baron Kumbo talked about that place all the damn time. Oh, yeah, it's here. <laughs> and and and, yes, and, uh, and also another good place is Daniel Boone, man. It's uh, He goes all the way through the state. It's it's a good good one too but uh just holler definitely man. A, yeah and well I will thank you again I thank all the viewers who um you know help you and your show out with some uh you know help financial to like keep doing what you're doing because I think you do a great job and one of the best podcasts out there honestly well thanks bro appreciate that yeah, all right. yeah I, I'll be I'm being serious too. You and uh, Sasquatch Chronicles, honestly, to me is a uh, is is one of the best ones where they actually, you know, you get information out of this stuff, you know. Right. Yeah, and it's just people telling oh, their stories. Oh, one man. more question. One more question before you go. Um, All right. The dog man. What do you? What is? What is your take on the dog man? Um. They're out there. I know that. Uh, there's just too many people reporting them, and there's a lot of people I know that are reporting them, um, and I know that they're not lying about it. So I think the dog man must be some type of... Um, I mean, I, I can only guess, uh, but 
I mean, I've had doctors, I've had uh, lawyers, judges, I've had all kinds of different people, man, come on and, and tell stories about seeing them, you know, uh, and and they're just honest. They're, they're not lying. I mean, there's something to it. So some people think that it's a uh, um, type of Bigfoot, but I, I don't think it is. I, I think that there's a canine. I don't think it is either. I think it's something totally different. I do think that the Bigfoot and them um, do not like each other and fight, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's it's insane to think about there's a creature like that out there. and But it's a big, huge canine-type creature. It very well may be uh, linked more to... to uh, I, I believe they're physical, and that's for sure. So I'll, I'll just leave it at that. I think they're a physical creature that are out there in the woods. Um but there may be a little bit more to the story and there will be some point where I will do uh, um, some videos kind of explaining what I think might be going hey, on. Hey, if, if, it's, if it's possible, man, I would love to um, maybe come on your show every once in a while and maybe co-host. I have, I have you know, I think I could do some good with that. If, if That's up to you, man. Yeah, yeah, we, we maybe could do that on uh, uh, Google+. Plus where we can switch back and forth and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be yeah, cool, dude. I'd be willing to do that. All right, sounds good, brother. Well, I got to let you go now because I got to take care of some things. But um, thank you so much. Thank you for all your viewers out there who are listening to this. Uh, be smart when you're in the woods. Never go out in arms just in case, you know. Right. And just, to, just to keep your wits about you because you never, you never know, man. <laughs> all right, you have a good night, brother. Right, bye, bye, bye. I hope you all enjoyed listening to Dylan. And uh, if, like I said, if anyone out there has something they would like to share, just contact me at brentson at gmail dot com. You want to contribute? Go to the link in the description. PayPal me. Until next time, God bless you, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.